Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings. And today I have finally gotten the rest of the curriculum that I ordered in the summer. And so I was gonna do an unboxing here of the remainder of the Moving Beyond the Page curriculum and then see how we might put this together and get started. So um, when I previously got a box, there was a lot, about 20 items that were on back order. Those have finally arrived. Um, apparently, who knew, lots of people ordered this curriculum this year. I can't imagine why. Um, it does say that there are actually a couple of literature books. So there's the curriculum and then there's the literature books that go along with it. There's a few of the literature books for that we still don't have that they will eventually send, but um, it doesn't look like they are foundational to the curriculum probably. So hopefully um, we will uh, be able to get started. So let's take a look. And of course, because I have a box, I have a cat who is interested in the box. All right, so packed nice in all the bubble wrap. Have a lot of fun with that later, I'm sure. So we have Sarah Plain and Tall. What is a life cycle on the same day in March? The Kids Book of Weather Forecasting. That looks really good. Nice. Okay. Kind of sort of textbooky, but not quite. And we have Punctuation Celebration. All right. In. Okay. And the rest of it is all wrapped together. And now the cat can have the box. So these are the rest of the curriculum. So for science, we have life cycles. So this was concept three, unit one. Water cycle, that's concept three, unit two. The rainforest, concept four, unit one. Economic cycles, so that's concept three, unit three. I'm going to set these over here. Connected Cultures, Concept 4, Unit 3. This was one that I was hoping we could get to this year, so I'm glad that we have that. Um, concept 4, Unit 2, Government and the People. We did a mini little election um, here over the last week when the election was happening. Um, we did a little election unit, so that'll be good to kind of back it up with a little bit more information. Charlotte's Web, that's for language arts. Poppy, also language arts. This one's concept three, unit one. That one is concept three, unit two. Iggy's House, concept four, unit three for language arts. One Day in the Tropical Rainforest, that's language arts, concept four, unit one and the whipping boy language arts concept for unit two so the majority of these were concept three and four but like the literature stuff i think a lot of these went with the first couple of units because i remember looking through everything and not having enough to start a complete unit so we've been using blossom and root and now we sort of took a pause um, for a week and we're going to jump back in and hopefully we're going to be able to start on moving beyond the page and eventually I'd like to do a comparison between the two and I will post that video when once we get a feel for moving beyond the page. So that's it. I'm going to try and put together lessons and I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you.